Well, well, well. Look at what the cat has dragged back in. Okay, look, I'm not promising anything just yet, but for now, welcome to episode 26 of, well, you already know what it is because of the title, but yes, it is the series return of the best Nova Launcher setups. Roll that intro. Ah, that felt good, did it not? I mean, it felt good for me. So here we are, and I'll keep this short so we can get straight onto the setups, but a quick explainer as to why I'm rebooting this series. So for my channel at least, this series was an absolute ball buster. We're talking hundreds of thousands of views per episode, and they're still gaining traction all these years later. Now, I've trialed other variations of this series since then that haven't quite reached the same success as this series once did, and who knows, maybe this rebooted series won't reach the same heights either. I do think we live in a different world now than when that series ended back in 2019. But hey, I'm now doing this YouTube thing full time and I've got more time on hand to sift through all of the submissions and load each of them onto my phone, which does take some time. And so with that said, it'd be kind of remiss of me not to see if this series can reclaim even some of the success that the last iteration did. So we're reopening submissions, and even though this series is titled the best Nova launcher setups, you are still eligible even if you're using a different launcher. If you've got a cool setup to submit, then the rules from the previous series apply. I need backup files, I need wallpapers, icon packs, widget packs, and custom widgets if you've got them. And more than anything, I need screenshots of the completed home screen setups. If any of those items are missing, then sadly, I cannot feature your setup in the series. All of those elements can be sent to the email address homescreensetups at gmail.com. And if you can include descriptions of how you've set things up as well, anything that is gonna make my life a little easier, well, then that would be an excellent bonus. So essentially, the same submission rules apply as the best home screen setup series. So I'll leave that submission video linked down in the description below. But with all of that said, let's cut the intro and get straight onto today's three home screen setups. All right, starting things off, our first setup today has been sent in by Supin. This is a lovely two page setup. We've got lots of colors on show, which makes for great vibrancy. So let's dive in and see what's involved. Now that wallpaper has come from the Crayons Icon Pack, which is really convenient as the icons themselves also come from this Icon Pack. And I've got to say, I really enjoy this wallpaper and Icon Pack combo. As I said, it makes for a really vibrant and eye-catching setup, but it's not in your face and over the top. Oh, and if you'd like a chance at claiming a promo code for the Crayon Icon Pack, then I'll actually be releasing some over on my Instagram stories in the next couple of weeks. So make sure that you go and follow me over there to have the best chance at claiming one of those codes. But back to our home screen and this simple five by two layout of the icons on this first page here really helps to keep things fairly clean as does that wallpaper, which has all of this negative space on the bottom half, which is great for placing all of our icons and widgets as Supin has done. Just quickly to show off this crown icon pack a little further, just have a look at the app draw here. Super nice coverage of icons and the masking of the unsupported icons is also top notch. But then above our icons on the homepage is a day and date widget. This comes from the mini-ism for KWGT pack and it's widget 073, though keep in mind it has been edited very slightly. And then over on our second page, and Supin told me that he originally had a Samsung calendar widget here, but because I'm showcasing this on a OnePlus phone, I've loaded in a fairly similar looking calendar widget from the month calendar widget application itself. And that's all there is to this first setup. I really enjoy the simplicity of it, yet it's still a visually striking setup. So a great one first up to get those customizing fingers dusted off and underway. All right, so second up is a very clean and elegant two-page Nova Launcher setup sent in by Vaughn. There's not an outrageous amount of elements going on with this setup, so it should be fairly easy to recreate. Starting with that wallpaper, now I don't know where it's been sourced from directly, so if you recognize it, please feel free to let everyone know down in the comments below, but I do have the direct link to it in the description, so that saves us a little bit of effort there. But I think this wallpaper is one of the real highlights of this setup. It's super minimal, it's got a great color palette, and it gives this setup some real character. Now on our main home page here, there are two main components, that widget up the top and the collection of icons down the bottom here. 
Starting with that widget, this is a custom made widget that Vaughn sent to me directly. So again, it's been linked below. I'm not sure if it has come from any widget pack in particular, but regardless, it packs in the time, the date, the day, and the battery percentage as well, all in a really nice and compact form factor. Now down the bottom is a set of 20 app icons laid out in a five by four configuration. And the desktop grid size is 13 by nine, by the way, which is what allows these icons to be bunched up as much as they are. But all of these icons come from the Lights Void icon pack, which looks fantastic. And then swiping over to the second page, this one is incredibly minimal, potentially too much so in fact, but down the bottom is another custom widget that Vaughn sent through directly. And it also has the day and date, but what makes it different to the widget on the first page is that it also has this neat music player bar down the bottom. If it was me, I would probably add perhaps some other app icons onto this second page, maybe even a folder icon to keep it looking clean. But otherwise, it's still a really nice overall setup. And I've got to say, I'm a fan. And finally today we have this super unique two page setup sent in by Abishek, again created using Nova Launcher. And this is essentially two completely different home screen setups for the price of one. There is a little bit of complexity to getting this setup right. So let's have a look at what makes it work. Right, starting with those wallpapers. So this first page's wallpaper is the actual real wallpaper for this setup, which will make more sense in a minute. And Abhishek said that this one came from the Wally application, but I couldn't find it within the app when I looked for it. So I do have a direct link for it down in the description below. But if you do recognize this wallpaper, please let us all know down in the comments below as the one linked in the description isn't of the highest quality. Now, as we swipe over to the second page, you'll notice that a new wallpaper shows up. And this has actually been achieved via a full screen KWGT widget with the image you can see set at full size. It's a pretty handy way of basically having two wallpapers in the one setup, but keep in mind the actual wallpaper that you're using. So this sunset one on the first page, for example, it does need to have a bar at the top that matches the color of the second wallpaper. And you'll most likely need to disable the gesture navigation bar as well, if your phone allows you to, as otherwise you'll see the real wallpaper on the bottom and top of your setup. Okay, but back to the first home page, and this funky looking widget is actually an all-in-one assistant, date, time, and weather widget. Plus, those icons down the bottom are also packed within this widget, and it's widget number 63 from the Frizzy for KWGT pack. Oh, and I'll also be giving away some promo codes for the Frizzy for KWGT pack on my Instagram stories. Keep in mind, the global colors of this widget have been tweaked to match the colorway of the wallpaper. All right, from there and onto the second page, and here we have a day, time, date, weather, and battery status widget. This has been taken from the Vibrant Colors for KWGT widget pack, and this one is widget 005. Down the bottom right here are eight application icons laid out in a four by two configuration. And these are using icons from the Bubble Gum icon pack, which looks really nice. Great consistent design, which will suit most home screen setups really beautifully. Oh, and the bottom left icon here is actually a folder icon. And so tapping on that opens up a folder filled with some social media applications. All right, last but not least, taking a look at the app drawer. And here we have a fairly clean yet dark vibe. Icons are again from the Bubblegum icon pack, which looks really nice here. But that is it for this setup. As I said, a little bit involved to get it working correctly. But hey, two setups for the price of one definitely deserves a spot in today's episode. And that's it. Now, just like the good old days, links to each and every asset that you need to load these setups onto your own devices have been included down below. And if you're not even sure how to load these setups onto your device, then there's a video down there for that as well. Oh, and don't forget, if you're interested in picking up a promo code for some of the apps used in the setups today, then make sure to go and follow me over on Instagram and keep an eye out on my stories. As I said at the start, submissions are now open again. So make sure that you check out the submission video also linked below. But aside from that, that is it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.